Hey friends, welcome to Pride Brain. Today we are going to discuss the fourth lesson, energy in day-to-day life. Hmm, let's see. Have you ever heard about energy? Well, yeah. Everyone know what energy is. It's the ability to do work or produce a change. You need energy for everything. Whatever you do, you need energy for it. How do we get energy? Of course, by filling our tummy with food. Then, how does a car work? It needs energy, right? That's why we use petrol. Let's discuss the use of energy to do work. Have you ever played or seen this stuff when you were little? It rotates when you blow it. How does it rotate? It's a moment, so it needs energy. What is the energy it uses? Correct, the wind. That's how it works. Have you ever heard about this cooker? It's called the solar thermal stove. Do you know how it cooks food? By heat, the heat of the sun. Thermometers are used to measure the temperature. Temperature is measured in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. The temperature is usually measured in Celsius, but the standard international unit is Kelvin. Energy sources and their applications. We'll discuss nine energy sources and their applications: sun, biomass, fossil fuel, wind, water, sea waves, tidal waves, geothermal energy, and nuclear energy. Sun. Sun is the main source of energy. It helps us in different ways. In some instances, it helps us directly. For example, drying chilies and wet clothes. But in some instances, it helps us indirectly, like photosynthesis. Solar energy is used to produce electricity too. Solar panels are expensive but eco-friendly. People use solar hot water heaters too. It can be seen on the roofs of some houses. Therefore, solar energy is a very important renewable energy for us. Biomass. Have you ever heard about solar stove? People used it earlier, and some use it now too. How does it get energy? Yes, by firewood and many other things like hay, coconut shells, etc. that is called as biomass next energy source is fossil fuel this is also very common coal petrol diesel are considered as fossil fuels they are made by buried plants and animals which were buried millions of years ago they are produced when they are subjected to high pressure and temperature wind wind is used in winnowing paddy but mostly wind is used to produce electricity electricity will be produced with the rotation of windmill when the wind blows the windmill rotates windmills are mostly seen in hambantota and putland next energy source is water energy produced by water is called hydropower the flowing of water helps the turbine to rotate and due to the rotation of the turbine energy is produced next energy source is sea waves yes electricity can be generated by sea waves energy produced by sea waves is called as wave power it is a renewable energy but it's not widely used next let's move on to another similar energy source tidal waves In this setup they have made the turbine rotate when the tides become high and low. Next let's move on to a heating energy. It's geothermal energy. The inner part of the earth is very hot. Producing electricity by geothermal energy is like heating water without fire. 
the heat which is used to heat the water is the inner part of the earth and the water steam is sent through a pipe and it makes the turbine rotate at last nuclear power nuclear power is a clean and efficient way of boiling water to make steam which turns turbine to produce electricity sustainable use of energy source we should not waste energy we should conserve them for our future generations <laughs>